36. Working off of two bases, Xenio has several uh, bases just pumping away. Look at all this mineral income still is just so impressive. He's just he's just slamming down those minerals and, and he's ahead on gas now too. He's got 20 more harvesters even after that Banshee managed to kill a few. So Straylock, the macro is really just going to be the end of him, uh, I feel like, if, if this attack is not successful. So we'll see if he drops a scan or not, tries to kill some creep tumors, maybe not. Looks like he's just going to siege up and start to move in a little bit, taking out whatever overlords he can. There goes some creep tumors down. That raven is there for some spotting, so the scan really isn't even that necessary. we got Hellions moving in down here at the bottom, just cleaning up all these drones. They're going to go ahead and scoot out of there and join the main army. Uh, what was that? He neural parasited? A Thor that got a little too far out ahead of Strailhog's army. All these sieged tanks back here could be blasting away in these marines. That's kind of painful for them. Strailhog really needs to get his positioning right if he's going to take this game. Um, this is pretty much his only shot, I think. He's so far behind in macro, uh, so he needs to keep everything he's got alive as long as he can. I wouldn't actually like to see some SCVs coming along to repair this. He's got Medivex for his bio units, but here we go. Xenio moving in now with Fungal Gross. Neural Parasites on Thors. Two Thors are taken over there. God, Neural Parasites are just so fun to watch. These Infestors are just awesome units for the Zerg army. These Thors, finally Neural Parasite ends, and oh man, so many Siege Tanks were cleaned out during that though. And these Infestors are still alive, not enough energy on any of them for another Neural Parasite, so these Roaches are going to have to scatter, run away for as long as they can, let some energy recharge. The Infestors head the other direction, just trying to split up so Strelok doesn't really know which way to pursue, and instead of continuing his assault, it looks like he's just going to hang out here. I'm not sure if this is the best decision, as his army is just much smaller now. 104 supply against 127 for Xenio. Xenio has a lot of production capability right now. We see uh, Lings, Roaches, Drones, Banelings all being created right now. And Strela can chooses to chase down the Infestors here. Another Infestor, oh, almost goes down but gets a nice fungal. Let's see if any of these Marines actually explode from that. Oh, we got several kills for the Infestor. Very nice. And this tank just needs to shoot him one more time before he explodes. Xenio doing a little bit of a counterattack here. He saw this Trailox army dragged all the way to the left side of the map. Xenio could not be happy with that. Starts to attack the front here, but he cannot get at these SCVs repairing all these factories and supply depots. So Xenio heads home once again as well. All these roaches and lings, hopefully they're going to be enough against the remaining army of Strelok. Strelok trying to churn out bio units and tanks as fast as he can. Able to take down that hatchery there at the gold finally and a queen gets exploded there there's no way this base is gonna last Xenio does send all the rest of his forces down here though to try and deal with this he's gonna try and kill off these stores once and for all I think since they have not been repaired they're at less than 50 h uh, 50 percent HP each uh, we'll see when Xenio makes his move is he gonna do it is he gonna do it is he just gonna sit there oh no he's gonna flank lots of lings up here in the back the tank draws their fire and kills everything. <laughs> Only two marines saved by these medevacs, and uh, the medevacs are going to be just fine because all these lings are up here killing off SCVs. Strelok's secondary force, his reinforcements rather, um, actually kind of thin right now. He's at 115 supplies. Xenio still looking pretty good at 168. He's going to run in with those lings first, see how many tanks are going to blast away at them, and uh, sees that there's actually not that much here, so he's going to run in with absolutely everything he's got. Lings just everywhere surrounding whatever they can. These buildings are not going to be able to finish. These roaches run up to the tanks and actually get them killed off. All these SCVs Oh my god, the SCV is running back into the main, can't go anywhere because the, uh, the supply depots are still up so the roaches kill off the rest of the SCVs. These engineering bays are going to be forfeit, there's no way uh, this wall is going to last through this attack. Their single sub siege tank back here is going to get a couple of kills, but Xenio actually decides to back off. He could come over here to this expansion and get so many juicy mule kills, but instead he's going to back all the way off. Look at this harvester count now. It's even farther in Xenio's favor. Probably the farthest we've seen yet this series. 67 to 31. Uh, so many hatcheries up here. Two hatcheries in the main. One over here. One down here. Rebuilding the gold. I wouldn't be surprised if he managed to get a drone over here somehow, or even like take over Straylock's island base. This thing's almost mined out. Xenio just said, fine, you can have it. I'm just not going to let you expand anywhere else. Um, except over here. Sorry. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, lots of roaches, lings, and infestors coming here. This is an unusual unit mix for this point in the game. 20 minutes in, sometimes we'll see broodlords and ultralists and things like that, and as I say that, I see that the hive is coming along in that production tab. Burrow is being researched. 36 more lings coming out. Xenio's just going to try to overwhelm Straylock 
uh, with mass units here. All these infestors do have energy for neural parasites though, so if he can manage to snag some tanks, there are no Thors out on the field, so if these infestors can grab some sieged tanks, that would really, really help him out. And uh, oh man, Strelok actually being a bit ballsy here, moving down his ramp with a bulk of his army, that's... Mm, I don't know if I like that because uh, one good fungal there could start to really thin out that army and these lings can just surround everything. Fungals right now would just... Look at all these marines. They would go down so quickly. Waste so much medevac energy. But Xenio just staying cautious. He knows he's ahead. He doesn't want to blow his lead on some silly attack that he's not going to win. So he's up 148 supply to 134. And he's just dancing around back and forth, letting his investors get his max energy. Uh, he's building Corruptors right now, getting that Greater Spire up, preparing for some Broodlords. Maybe he will wait for Broodlords to finish before he tries to uh, put the last nail in the coffin. Strelok really has nowhere else to expand to except right here. And that is just so vulnerable here since Xenio has had control of this portion of the map for so long. This Ultralist Cavern is being built now as well. Spinecrawler's coming down to this gold. He doesn't want to lose it again. Uh, there's still a lot of nice orange minerals here for him to be mining. Or gold minerals, whatever. Rich minerals are what they are technically called. Greater Spire coming up. Look at that. S look how silly this Greater Spire looks. I just That always amuses me how it just kind of sprouts up out of the ground like that. But Straylock doing a small little uh, octo drop right here one medevac full of marines shooting down some zerglings not sure what he's going to be able to accomplish these uh, spine crawlers three spine crawlers finished right there Strelok is just going to have to back out he may have killed a few lings and a couple of drones there and that's about it some banelings going to be waiting here just in case he decides to come back so let's look at income tab once again Xenio about tripling Strelok right now oh man there's just really nothing he Strelok can do about this dumped all his SCVs into gas over here for some reason. I'm not sure if I missed an attack. I'll have to go back and look. But, uh, yeah. Ultralisk upgrades coming along. Broodlords being more of 64 Zerglings <laughs> being made right now. Look at Strelok spending. He's still under 100 minerals 24 minutes into the game. That's pretty incredible. And Xenio not getting too far out of reach himself either. He's probably spending all of the larvae he can. A nice fungal growth right there on those marines. Going to waste a ton of energy from those medevacs. Possibly even kill some of them. Banelings and infestors are just such a fun combo here. This hatchery is going to go down. The Ultralisk Cavern obviously goes down uh, while that upgrade is still going. So I'm not sure what that's about. That's got to be ended here soon. If that actually completes when there's no cavern existing, that's going to be interesting. But anyway, all this stuff is being destroyed. There's really nothing else to say about it. All these zerglings just surrounding everything. Broodlords have no real counter up right now from Strelok except a single Viking. Uh, he's actually using infested Terrans right there to kill that Viking. So the Broodlords cutting through space there across the middle. Uh, Strelok is going to try and kill the gold base with what remains of his army and he's going to lose probably a ton here at his main as a result. We'll watch that drop anyway and just watch Xenio. Uh, mop up here in the front of Strelok's base with all these remaining roaches and speedlings. Broodlord's finally arriving as well. Strelok's not going to be able to defend against that. He's trying to do what work he can there at the gold base, but if he loses all these production structures um, and doesn't get anything up to deal with these Broodlords, Xenio is going to just drop the hammer and kill everything. Look at this. Zerg just running amok, killing Terran buildings left and right. All these production structures slowly being whittled down. Looks like Strelok did get that hatchery down at the bottom, but um, it's not going to be enough. Four Broodlords really just cranking out all these Broodlings. Really, really good stuff out of Xenia. Getting up to a hive here on Scrap Station. We even have roaches over here at this Planetary Fortress trying to kill it off. Of course, they're not going to be successful with that many SCVs. So Xenia making a ton of Banelings. I hope we get to see this. Uh... Uh, we get to see these banelings collide with this planetary fortress. That's always fun to see. He's got them rallied already. There's a lot of SCVs still repairing this thing, but Broodlords and banelings can take out a planetary fortress like no other. Here it comes. Ah, it's so fun to watch. Kill his SCVs. Yeah, got everything with that last group of banelings right there. That was cool. I like that. So, uh, Strelok has essentially nothing left except this island base. So... Probably just going to be content with his $50 American. Uh, <laughs> I don't think these medevacs are going to last too much longer. He might kill another hatchery, I guess, but Xenio just instantly put it up again here at the gold. 
Zerglings surrounding all these Marines and Marauders once again. Straylock was only 2-0 upgrades, and Xenio with 3-3 for his ground units. Straylock just GG's out finally after losing mm, essentially everything he had. Uh, Xenio only had 78 supply, but Straylock had 23 over 19. Not that easy to make a comeback. Uh, when your opponent has the entire map. So congratulations to OGS Xenio for moving into the semifinals. Uh, Strelok played some good games, especially that one on Lost Temple I really liked, but um, wasn't enough to stop the South Korean Zerg player OGS Xenio in this Kaspersky New Year's StarCraft II Invitational. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to be casting some more games from this tournament, as many as I can, actually. And uh, might take a little break for New Year's Day, but I'll be back first week of January with some more games. So... I'll see you guys soon.